How to plan and set up a comic for display on social media. Creating a comic strip for putting on social media, on Pinterest, on Instagram, Twitter, even Facebook, or really even YouTube. You don't need to have animated characters. I'm not talking about that level of difficulty. I'm talking about how to plan and set up your comic strip for display on social media. I'm not talking about whole page comic books here, nor multi-panel epics. I'm talking about creating single panels in Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer and chaining them together into a YouTube video or a series on Instagram and Pinterest. So if you're now fired up and ready to get right into drawing your first panel of the comic, oh no, it's just not that easy, sorry. Read on. You have to construct the story, just like writing a book. Well, almost. In this case, it's like writing a movie script. Yes, you can do it. It's made up of the genre, which is what type of story it is. Almost anything you like, from cowboy westerns to space warriors. A main character. There should only be one main character. Lots of characters, but one main character. And the setting? Where does the story take place? It also has a beginning, a middle and an end, and more on that later. These last three are actually the story structure. All stories have a beginning, a middle and an end. So you have a loose idea of your story. It's based around your main character, and that character wants something. What's at stake here? If your character isn't successful, what's at stake? What do they want? Even if you have four characters in the story, each one wants something, and the stakes for them are equally high. So what happens if your character doesn't get what they want? Do they just give up? End of story? Very short comic. So you have to up the stakes. For example, if your character doesn't get the prize, will he lose his house? Will his mother end up on the street because he can't pay up? You have to up the stakes. Nope, sorry, you can't start drawing yet. You need to get this story done. If you're looking for inspiration, watch the video series Burn Notice, Series 1. It's on Netflix, and elsewhere possibly. It's perfect for redoing as a comic. You could take Episode 1 of Burn Notice and write your own script to it. Keep it short and simple. The storyline itself is very simple. So the story is about someone who wants something and is having trouble getting it. That's what you build on. So let's look at a script example. Your basic script elements are made up of three simple elements. The scene or description of the panel, the action or what action is taking place in the panel, and the dialogue or what the actors are saying, the actors who are in the panel, if anyone. Now here's the example. This is a script example, panel one, taken from the Scrivener template for a comic script. It describes a typical panel one, pretty much as just described previously. And it's the three act structure we're looking at. This sounds a lot like a normal book, doesn't it? In fact it is, but it works equally well for us too with comics. The beginning, middle and end equate to Act 1, Act 2 and Act 3. It helps the reader understand where they are in the story, if you keep to this format. It's tried and tested in the movie industry, as well as the comic and fiction writing areas. So Act 1. This is the opening act. It sets up the story. See the previous example script. The character is standing under a street light on a darkened corner. They're faced with a big opportunity or problem, and it's up to you which it is. Keep your opening short. Remember, you only have one panel at a time. So within a few frames, you have to have something out of the ordinary happen. Think of the next panel in that opening I showed you. What will you put in the second panel? Our hero has to react to this 
And even though it takes them out of their comfort zone, it leads us to Act 2. Now in Act 2, this is a place way outside the main character's comfort zone. It's a difficult world, and as the story progresses, it gets more difficult. In Pulp Fiction, this is called Piling on the Pressure. Life gets more and more difficult. You reach mid-story and there's no going back. The character is fully committed. But remember to relax the action in the story a little. Give everyone a break. You can't keep piling on the pressure throughout the story. Too many explosions, too much action, wears out your reader. Build turning points into the story so your reader can see where the character is heading. And from that midpoint, start heading towards Act 3. And it's Act 3 where the hero is at their lowest ebb, worn out, done in, it's all lost. But wait, the hero draws on hidden reserves and all that has been learnt on the journey to this point. They use this now to bring the story to a conclusion. They succeed, or not, but usually succeed. It's difficult to end a story on a failure. No one likes it. So now it's time. You have your story, right? Now you need to write that up as a script. Maybe you wrote it as a script, as a script all along. Well, good for you. But you can't do the comic without a script. You will sit down to draw, do a few panels, and then slowly fade away as you lose the story. No story left. Another great comic failed. So, recommendations? Write your story. Write your script. Prepare your page panel templates. Begin drawing and then publish. Use a template. It saves you hours and hours. Look out for stories that lend themselves to being in comic form, especially when you're just starting out, like Burn Notice. Keep your story short. You don't want to write an epic. People will rarely read an epic comic unless you are really famous. Keep your end publication format in sight. It has to be readable on an iPhone. 70 to 90% of social media content is viewed on a mobile phone in portrait mode. I'll see you in the next section. Continuing with the uh, creation of a comic strip that can be shown on YouTube or perhaps Instagram or Pinterest, Twitter, any of those I guess, even Facebook. What we've got on this image here is the base, the base layer that I made. And it's based on the iPhone, uh, well iOS series, but it applies to most phones anyway. They take photos with an aspect ratio of 3 is to 4. That's generally, in this case, a width of 2480.3 pixels wide and 3307.7 pixels high. Or if in round numbers, 2480 by 3307 in pixels. Or if we want inches, they're there. Or 210 by 280 millimeters in our case. Now that's obviously much larger than any um, phone you'll ever have in your hand. But of course, Phones and iPads resize the image. Now you might think you're sitting there watching all this on a desktop, but a desktop with um, YouTube will, will regenerate the images anyway. But what I'm trying to achieve is to have a portrait image, because that's how most people use their phone. And this comic strip will use that ratio because over 70% of readers will be using a mobile phone to view the comic. It allows for a clearly set out scene in each panel. So you can have one panel per scene. That's the goal. However, it also allows for the panel to be subdivided if needs be. Now, looking at this, what I've done already, let me show you the layers. I've created a master. And you can do this. I've got 
five pages in there at the moment. Now, when you want to export a page, you can export a single page. You don't have to export the whole lot. So we've got the page we're reading here, which I'll turn off. Then we've got the title page. Now you would have a drawing or some, you'll have something on there and your words there and your title there. We'll turn that off because panel one, you can see how I've done this. I'll turn that off again. Panel one is simply, the, it's a duplicate of the base panel. I've added a border. I've just put a, a, a cartoon word in there and page one at the top. That would be exported as a separate page. Page two. Oops, page three, sorry, because I've got them grouped. There's page, there's page two, one, two, three. You can see they're grouped there. Now let's turn those off and panel three is turned on. Page four. I don't have anything grouped in there. That's just a straight blank page. And page five, another straight blank page. When you've got, for example, you might have five pages, you might have 20 pages. I would certainly start very small to start with because don't forget, you've got to write a script behind these stories. Now, what I have done is I'll see if I can get to it from here. Um, let me let me think. Let me think. We need to get another page that I have that's divided into panels. Let's see if I can. I'll just put a pixel layer in between. Oh, where did I put that pixel layer? There it is. I want that right at the top. I'll put that pixel layer in between what I'm doing and what I want to do. Let's see if I can draw in a page that I have. Place from photos, um, recents, there it is there. Loading from photos, just put that out of the way. There we go, that's a, that's a pre-existing comic page. Now you can see on here that it's big enough to read, actually, if you are on an iPad. This is an iPad mini. If you're on a phone, particularly one of the smaller phones, like an iPhone SE, that would be difficult. Those words there would be difficult to read. So you have to be very careful of that. That's why I suggested one panel per page. There's our photo there, it's placed it on top so we can get rid of that layer there. That's it, that's just an example of what you can do with the page. I wouldn't suggest going to quite that much detail. If you put text boxes in there, uh, text balloons and bubbles, you can do that with the brushes. Let me find my comic sounds text. Make sure it's a nice large one. There's the circle in the middle of the page. Crash. There we go. Maybe you want to put a speech bubble in there. I don't know how the speech bubbles because they're all white at the moment. Um, I don't know how they'll show up against that. Let's try that one. We need to make them big enough to see. And there it is there. So you'd put a, you'd have a character there and you can put a speech bubble. Now, having them in brushes makes them very easy to place. If you haven't got your if you haven't got your um, brushes set up with speech bubbles and things like that, I would strongly advise you to do just that. Now, you could 
draw on that, print that, do what you like with it. I'll turn it off. We'll go back to about this setup. And that overlays the top of it. You can see your title there. Now these titles and that last page I put in, they come from a comic app that I've got, a comic creation app, and I've just used their pages. Um, what's the name of the app? I forget. It's in one of my previous, previous videos. You'll find it there, and I show you how to separate the pages out. They're really very, it's really very good. Um, and if you wanted to do it, but it's designed to do it as a book or, you know, like a comic book, not a, not on YouTube. With this, you can do each page, export it, and put the whole thing on YouTube. So let's turn all those off. There we go, all turned off. And just that one there, go back over there and go back there.